the Kerwood Derby is probably the most wanted hat that ever was. First of all, Rocky and Bullwinkle want it. We want it so we can help our country. Fearless Leader wants it. I want it so I can rule the world. Boris wants it. I want it so I can rule Fearless Leader. And the Moon Men, Gidney and Cloyd want it. We, we want, want it because it's ours. Yours! And while our friends listened open-mouthed and Boris listened gnashing his teeth and Fearless Leader listened patting his machine gun, the Moon Men told their loony story. That loony story. Uh, sorry, the light's bad. It seems that on the moon, there was once a very stupid, ignorant prince named Nosmo. Not me, you idiot! Him! Daddy, please hide and go seek with me. All right, Nosmo. I'll hide and you count to five. I always get the hard part. One, two, uh, right here's where it gets tough. Two. I've got to do something, Lyndon. Why not call for the wizard? Good idea. Oh, Mr. Kerward! <laughs> Sorry to be late. The lights was against me. Oh, wizard, you must do something about my son. It's a little late now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's kind of big to get rid of now. People would talk. No, no, no. I just want Nosmo to be a good ruler. Oh, why don't you say so? I just say the magic word, Menominee, Michigan, and there you are. He's a good ruler. Not that kind of a ruler. Oh. Put him back. He makes more sense this way. Come on. Oh, very well. Sacramento, California. Uh, try four. Gee, thanks. Four, two, three, uh... Mr. Kerwood, I want you to make Nosmo intelligent. You must be joking. No, no, no. He's going to be king someday. He must be smart. Why don't you make him a magic crown or something? Sorry, I can't help you. Guards! But I'll try. Good. But it's gonna take a lot out of me. And so the wizard worked day and night readying his magic spell designing the crown, preparing the magical elements until finally late one night. Ten seconds to midnight, nine, eight. Will it work, Mr. Kerwood? It's better. Seven, six, five. That's the number, Papa, five. Now let's play hide and go sit. Keep away from the table, Nosmo. Two, one. Well, when the smoke cleared away, everybody seemed unharmed except Mr. Kerwood, who said, I told you this was gonna take a lot out of me. But instead of a crown, on the table was the Kerwood Derby. Not much for looks, is it? No, but put it on anyway, Nosmo. Eh, all right. Now, can you count up to five? Of course, Peter. But I'd rather discuss electron distribution and spectroheliac magnetic field. Kerwood, you did it! He's smart! Yeah. Name your price, you can have anything. Anything? Anything! Okay. You know where I can get some lift for these shoes? And so, King Nosmo has worn the Kerwood Derby ever since. Yeah, but what's it doing down here? King Nosmo lent it to us to make our first trip here. And Cloyd forgot it. I left it under a theater seat in St. Louis. Oh, come! We were watching an out-of-town tryout. It was so bad. We had to leave quickly. Well, it's finders keepers, I always say. Right, boys? All together, right. But our heroes remain silent. What's the matter? You don't believe in togetherness? No, because it's really their hat. Details, always details. Now, let's go in and see the president. But as Rocky reached for the doorknob, fearless leader reached for the trigger. Oh, don't miss our next episode, Flying Bullets or a Cartridge in a Pear Tree.